Oh. I'm really excited to show you never before seen pops I recently did on a patient's back. First up, a really satisfying blackhead extraction. Let's get popping. What are you putting in there? This is anesthesia. Okay. So that I, if I use a sharp object, it's not gonna hurt him. This is the difference between me and so I'm gonna wash this and make sure you don't pocket a lot of these. <laughs> This is a, what, you know, so if we can anesthetize it, it's much more comfortable for oh, him yeah. to obviously endure this. While it's possible to extract a blackhead without using local anesthesia, I prefer to numb up the patients just to ensure their comfort level. And heck, they don't call me painlessly for nothing. Let me see if I can even push it this one. Sometimes I, I'm gonna push against you, so resist me. That's my, that's my joke. <laughs> This is a comedone extractor. One of my favorite dermatological tools that is perfect for getting out blackheads is called the comedone extractor. This metal loop is placed around the blackhead and when gentle yet firm pressure is applied, it really can force the blackhead to release without injuring the surrounding skin. I feel like my day is done already. Mm -hmm. You okay? Am I hurting you? No more than my wife does. Oh no, really? It should not hurt you though. No, put some more numbing here. No, it's Hold not on. Hurting. It's not hurting. Pushing. I think I can pull that out actually. Let's see. Come on. There we go. You can't get all that out, huh, in one no. fell swoop? No. There we go. Number one down, number two here. That was worth the wait. Let's see if this is gonna, this is like a little cyst. Yeah, that should, yeah, that's what that does. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen this one before. All my pop hogs out there know that I love a good food comparison. So to me, these cis contents, they look like shaved coconut that you'd sprinkle on top of a delicious ice cream sundae and you'd enjoy it on a hot summer day. Enjoy. It fills up all the time. Yeah, you know why, right? Because no. there's a sack under there yeah, yeah. that encases it. So if we can get that sack out, do you want me to do that though? Because then you may never get to the pleasures anymore. You don't have the fun of doing it anymore. You do what needs to be done. Oh, that's love, you see? I know what you're sacrificing. Yeah, I know. I did. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Well, it's not good right now. Yeah, you're okay now? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh man, I could see how he could get when he's mad though. I got a little, <laughs> I got a little flavor of that. Mm. Is he okay? Yeah. Okay. That's the sack or just the That's filling? all the contents. I'm, I'm gonna make sure he's nice and numb before I do that again. Sorry, I'm gonna try not to block both sides. No, no, do what you need to do. It's still coming out. Every day. Sometimes it's hard to get, you want to try to get that whole sack out. I, don't, I think he's pretty numb now. I'm trying to like sc scrape at it and make sure we got it all out, because sometimes it's hidden deep under there. Yo, are you okay? Is that hurting you? Hurt? No, right? I think he's just bored with me. See, there's still some more in there. I'm trying to, I use this like little spoon, it's called a curette, to kind of scratch the edges so I can pull up that sack wall.
Now that the two bigger bumps have been taken care of, I couldn't help but notice that there are a few extra blackhead stragglers around. Time to get a few more. And that little tool just works. Yes, it does. Let's see him do a little wiggle. Oh, you don't. You need a tool, don't you? Oh, sorry. This is not numb here. Let me try That's this. That's what my wife says every time oh, she gosh. hurts me doing this. Yeah, there it comes. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not not right. Right. Well, well <laughs> she's trying to get me down there. I'm gonna. I can put some numbing on here. There's another one like that too. Oh gosh, we're working on you now. One little baby pinch here, pinch. She does say that. I know. Pinch here again, pinch. Oh, sorry. Gosh, I mean, I didn't ask. I didn't ask you for these. These are a little follow-up. And then I use this little eleven blade there to kind of nick the skin to be able to make free it. Mm -hmm. And then once it's numb, it's nicer to more comfortable to to like extract it. Oh, there's the sigh. Almost done. I'm not gonna look anymore else on purpose so we don't find anything else. I'm gonna show you this little black head of yours that popped out. Oh. A little kitchen sink plug. Oh yeah. See it that? It's quite a, and heavy. It was yeah, pulled nice. right out, like whole, huh? It was nice. She liked it, she thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah. That was her Christmas present. Uh -huh. Christmas came early for you. I'm Dr. Sandra Lee, but some people like to call me Dr. Pimple Popper. I think blackheads might be my favorite thing to pop. So let's not wait any longer and get right to popping. Did, did you know you wanted to be a doctor? Or mm, just not, no, not I one didn't. Branch? No, what, what? no, I didn't know that I wanted to be a doctor, no. You hear I that, I wanted Linda? to be a fashion designer. I'm sorry. That's okay. It's stored in what, here. What branch? Listen to me. What branch? You can well, tell I'm because, retired military. Well, no, it's I'm because... Oh, <laughs> it's because I'm torturing you. How did you do all your military exercises and you don't like this? I was in the Air Force. Oh, so you didn't have to... What does that mean? It's the cream of the crop. Oh, <laughs> they don't have to do any running around or anything? That's right. We don't. I, you know, I had a weapon, but my weapon was locked up in us. Uh, oh, a vault. I see. Your weapon was your. Was and your we never, plane. we never used it. Look at that. It keeps going, but there's something under there. You never used it. We go shoot once a year, you know. Interesting. Okay, come on over here on this side. Here we go. There's a couple right here. Let's see if we can't get them out in there. Nice and uh, ripe here. Does your wife try to get any of these for you? He doesn't. He doesn't. Oh, he, this is the only way you can get it, huh? He really only oh, oh, gosh, and I know he does not like it. Oh, God, the way he puts up with me. Wait, hold on. I'm going to see the side of your nose here because I see some things that he hates. Those black specks on the side of your nose are not freckles. In fact, they might be blackheads. And even though they are really common, they are still a total bummer. The best way to help prevent blackheads is to use a face wash that contains salicylic acid. This helps to get right in there and loosen the plugs so the blackheads come out on their own. God, you need to just go to town with these on, wait, right before you see me so I don't see them. I should. It's like, I hate this. I hate this. I should give him a nice little facial before it. Maybe he'll like it then. Linda is five years older than me. Oh, she is. She doesn't oh, look right it, now. that's for right sure. Right now, I'm four. <laughs> that's, I know, you gotta work that. I work that. <clears throat> yeah, that's a problem. Like I said, they never do. Gosh, look at these beautiful black kids he's got. They're like shoots. She oh, said we had three. I know. Did you I hear did. that too? I thought so too, and then I took, I got too close to you. <laughs> close to you. And she you. put on the glasses. On the day that you were born, the blackheads got together <laughs> and decided to create a dream come true. Don't so quit your day job. <laughs> oil and debris and dead skin cells on your pores. <laughs> And now you're good as new. Da -da 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 -da. Almost done. I gotta be even now. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that is why all the pop.
couple-holics in town follow you all around just like me they long to be close to you there you go new song i yeah, wonder yeah. if i'll get copyright infringement for that <laughs> one that's easy is on your back. Okay. Oh, look at this one. Wait, you got to see this one. Wow. Isn't wow. that kind of cool? You want to keep, it's like a little diamond. It's like a little diamond. It's like, it's a, like neal, a little cherub. It's like a, le a neal diamond. Yeah, a neal diamond. <laughs> this is neal diamond. Yes, this is neal diamond. Blackheads are open comedones. They're, they are pores that are just clogged with debris and oil and dead skin cells. And so they're open to the surface of the skin, which gives them that dark color. This patient came to me because she had these bumps that bothered her. She gets acne every now and then, and she thought they were acne bumps or that they were maybe blackheads or whiteheads that you could extract, but on further exam, I noticed that they were actually scars. She has hypertrophic scars, which are just the little thicker scars that she tends to get sometimes from acne breakouts. Since they kind of distort her skin, sometimes you get a blackhead within that scar. Maybe you okay? Mm-hmm. Stuck in there, isn't it? It's like a belly out, a little baby cyst. I don't know if there's something in here or not. I feel like that's not a blackhead opening. That's like a that's like a uh, mole. So I'm gonna put numbing underneath there. I'll okay. try that and see if anything feels like it's coming out or anything. I just put numbing right there. Even if we inject it, it can help make a cyst shrink. But I don't think it's a cyst. I think that's a scar. Is it itchy? It gets itchy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's more like a keloid. There's that one. Put that right there. Can you relax for me? You lift up from there. You know, some people are more prone to it. And uh, just like it's like a little clogged pore, a little cyst. There we go. Let me push on that one now, too. It's like a camellia, just a longer area of scar. Beautiful thing. Look, it's. I'm gonna push this way and see if anything else comes out. Blackheads are, are black like that because they're exposed to the surface of the skin. But sometimes when we extract them, you can they become what I call an ombre blackhead because on the, the, the part that's more superficial, it's dark, but as we continue to kind of squeeze it out, it starts to turn lighter in color. So if you have a whole intact blackhead that, that has been expressed, you'll see it range from like a black color to like all the way to a blonde color. A little neck in the skin pinch. Just gonna do a little neck. Oh, she's tough. Push on these. So she's got a couple, see she's got a couple of trap underneath a little acne scars, but a little baby pinch here. And then there's one right here. We can see if we can get a couple of these 
looks like the bigger ones here. Pressure. Yeah, yours come out pretty easily. You know, you could probably take care of some of these by yourself. I didn't even see those. Um, Does a facial help with that? Um, no. Y y they can help soften them, but they still need to be physically extracted using like one of these little instruments. You know, I have this comedone extractor I use in a lot of my videos. Mm -hmm. Some of them might be harder because they might be trapped under there. But you also have a high pain tolerance, I can tell, because you don't even <laughs> budge when I do this. So I know you can handle, handle having this done or doing it to yourself because that'll help to clean some of these out. I've been treating the blackheads on this lovely lady's back for years, but as you can see, it's been a while since our last appointment. So I don't know what I'm more excited about, squeezing some zits or hanging out with one of my OG popaholics. I'll start from your side and move over. I'm neck and the skin maybe with these, some of these. Let me know if I'm really hurting you or anything, but I have a feeling from the past, if I remember, it doesn't, doesn't bug you at all. In fact, mm. it's just nice to have them gone. Oh yes, it does. I have to. I have to glue it on. This is one of our popping OGs, and now she watches the show. Oh, she doesn't I have to look yes. away, which is great. But she's one of them that started all this. I'd have to say. Yeah. One of the Way originals that we ago. took, yeah, like four, five years ago, oh, four gosh. years ago at least. One of the first that we really videotaped. So it's been a, over a year that I've taken care, any care of anybody. Yes, I think it's been close to up. two. Oh, has it? Yeah. Yeah, things have changed around here since I've seen you. <laughs> It's really a pleasure to work on somebody's back because you get to see all the blackheads in front of you, what you've already done and what you're about to do. Yeah, you stay like pretty busy with your show, huh? Yeah, we're gonna be taping this weekend too. Thursday, oh. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wow. Yep. We are busy. We have one more after that, one more taping for the end of the season. Mm. If it wasn't for your husband not being able to see, we would never see these. I know. Because you would have him take care of them. I know, I get the, you know, I said, what is this? It doesn't, I don't know, it's just a bump. You know, some psychologists believe that popping your partner's pimples is actually a way to show your love and commitment. Do you have to drive? Can he drive? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? He just can't see up close like that kind Me, of thing. No, I, I can see fine. Oh, you can, but he, he doesn't he, drive he, then. he drives, but he's uh, blind. Oh, what? Well, well okay, I mean, put you that... know, not real blind, blind <laughs> but you know what? Like... <laughs> Did you see what you said? Be careful, you're going to see that to millions of people. I know. We don't know who you are. He yeah. doesn't see too well out of his glasses or his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> you're not redeeming him in any way. I was hoping you would. One of my repeat patients came in with several patches of blackheads on his face, but because he has incredibly sensitive skin, he only wants us to focus on three specific areas. Needless to say, it's gonna take all of my focus to stay on track and not attack every blackhead I see. So he doesn't love it necessarily. What, what is your gift to him when you give him a gift? Oh, sorry. Oh. oh, that's a good gift. I see, all she needs is a little smile, huh? No, she takes me on trips. Oh, she does? And he looks very serious when he dances. Oh, really? Yeah, he doesn't smile. He's concentrating on the next step. So I smile for both of us. <laughs> this one is not budging for us here. It's being a little stickler. Got one eyebrow here that wants to, there we go, got it. I know, no wonder you're having me do this. I could see why this is a fight. And he's a sensitive man. He does not, every single movement I make, he makes a little flinch. Even though my patient has sensitive skin, I've decided not to numb him before removing his blackhead so I can create less trauma. So you can even try it without the little. Without the numbing? Yeah. 
No, I don't think so. You, you would not like that. She usually does it. Oh, she has I a little toilet on with a hole in it. Oh, goodness sakes. Well, I used to, and then we found out that, that you could do it and, and, and he would have less pain. Well, or that you're not inflicting the pain. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I know the truth. And, and like you say, he flinches, so... He does. He's a flincher. And that can take years off of our lives. <laughs> right. I'll tell you, I have some patients that are flinchers, and let me tell you, I feel like I lose a little couple, a couple years when I see them. They definitely make me jump. Serious, this lady is with this camera. She knows I'm serious. I'm gonna make heads fly if she doesn't take some good video up to you. If I torture you and then I don't have any good video, that's no good. Why would I want to torture you then? Okay, let me see this one right here. That one was just wait, it was just ready to pop out. There's one right here in numbed, okay? One like little white head here. But he flinches all the time, so I'm not gonna tell him what I do, I'm just gonna do it. So you you kind of, you have a little sharp tool yeah. you kind of cross it so it comes out easier, right? Yes, yeah, some of them are, are, are under the skin yeah. and I can't get them out without putting a little nick in the skin. That one still doesn't want to come out. Oh, stop it, you. Good. So nowadays, I feel like I just come here and I'm just extractor. Once a year, I do your little your little blackheads here and you gotta put up with me. This is my birthday gift too. Okay. There we go. Oh, that was a pretty one. Yeah, that's still doctor. And she likes this stuff. That's the whole key too. I think she would want to be a physician, right? No, she loves to learn. Her brother was a doctor. Hmm. He was a groinecologist. A groinecologist? You know. I'm not gonna do too much of these. You're not gonna let me. That's why. But wow, look at that. Look at this coming out of the truck. Yeah. You're gonna lose some weight here. That's right. That's so going from 16 pounds now to, to 9, 17. 16.5. Yeah. Look, I just have to squeeze a little bit. Okay, that's it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No more, no more, no more, no more. For real, this time, I swear. This is it. I promise you. Oh, I'm sorry. We've done these before. They're starting to come back. That was a couple, of, three, a couple of years ago. So you had him putting something on it for Oh, like yes. Retin-A. Is that? We probably should have had him put it on again, huh? That would have helped these coming out. You stopped yeah. doing that, huh? You stopped being a girl, huh? Curling up. Only lasted a little bit. I myself can't keep doing Retin-A. I get tired, I forget to do it. Yeah. So, so, yeah. I'm a whitehead there. And then they're bad for the, for the sun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes you more sensitive in the sun, too. Mm -hmm. Where's that one? I just lost it. There it is. They're like little shoots of grass, you know, when it keeps coming up. All right, hold on. I'm gonna move a little bit here on your cheek. Yeah, kind of mm -hmm. So pretty. Trying. But man, if I if I could just like get him to pass out. Huh. <laughs> Good. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we're done. 